Hey people, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna continue the rig of the Unreal Armature. In this video, we're going to make extra bones for the mannequin, add spine IK for a spine to a look target, and I'm going also to show you a trick that I found very useful that I think is going to save you a lot of time in creating different animations. So, let's get started. Okay, let's add some controls for the head, a look target. So to add a look target, we're gonna duplicate all the bones, let's isolate it and let's clear the parent. Let's rename it, let's hide the, the neck bones, we're gonna have, this is gonna be the head. Okay, neck 1, neck 2 and the head, everyone are independent of each other. Select the start of the head bone and just extrude a bone. And let's extrude another bone, make sure it's unparented. And let's add an IK constraint to this bone, so it point where this bone is. Add an IK stretch, so it's gonna stretch where the bone is. Let's add a um, dump track, make sure select the negative X. Select this one, select copy rotation and local space, and bring the influence, copy rotation local space local space down the influence should look something like that let's unhide the head bone select first the mechanical head bone and then the head bone add a copy rotation local space local space before original so if we move look at that the head is gonna point where this target is as the same copy rotation local space local space before original bring down the influence okay so right now the head is gonna look where this is let's assign some shapes let's assign a red target and this one you can add a UV sphere delete these faces and these faces and you can add a subdivision surface you can select this one and this one ctrl i delete the other one you can delete also this one okay size it down with this one okay let's just mirror it let's delete this right now and let's delete it at the end okay this smooth Select the IK bone, uh, select the target shape, let's rotate it 180 degree on the X axis. Let's make it smaller, you can move it. And you can assign whatever color you want. The target is gonna make it bigger for the IK stretch. And the head is gonna point where this is pointing. Next step, you can have some controls for the fingers, so you can have like a circle and select all the fingers, circle shape, rotate it, you can make it smaller, and you can assign it green. So we have some nice shapes for the fingers for these bones, add a cube, delete only the faces, select all the bones. and we have and let's assign them green in order to make a spline ak duplicate pelvis bone i'm gonna be a pelvis control let's assign a copy location a local space and let's assign a copy rotation Good. and let's parent it needs to be parented to the root bone so let's add a shape data and scale it and it's red gonna need three things for the spine IK to work first of all duplicate all the spine while also the neck and the head select them all you need to duplicate it scale it on the y-axis so it's gonna be perfectly straight so duplicate it two times and this is gonna be the line root and let's duplicate it again and this is gonna be the spline end make sure also to unparent it and you need to do also extrude it 
name it. And let's other ball that's gonna be using later be the counter rotation. Uh, make sure so it's unwarranted. And right now you're gonna need a path curve. Uh, let's delete the other points. So first select the, um, the start, select the path to cursor. Let's do the same. Select um, the end of the uh, chain. Uh, shift S and view the direction. It needs to be rotated so it points up. And you can the geometry. You can improve the depth. And on the active spline, make sure to make it three. Okay, very nice. Add a hook modifier first. You're gonna select these vertices right here. Select the spline start and select assign. Uh, also, yeah, forgot. You need to have uh, approximated in the middle a uh, spline middle. Select the middle. Uh, select the control rig. Add a spline sign and do that also for uh, the end. So add another hook modifier. Select the control rig and select the spline end. So right now, if we select, for example, the spline end, move it. The spline is gonna move it as well. If we move the spline start, it's gonna move it. And if we move the middle, it's gonna move it as well. Uh, remove it. They are the constraints. We don't need them anymore. Add um, a spline IK. The target is gonna be this one, the narrow path. Select it and make sure it's the exact chain. So right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the nine with the pelvis. So it's gonna be nine. And the magic, if we move it, the bone are gonna stretch and are going to fit the spline, which is amazing. Set the other pelvis, set the pelvis, copy rotation, local space, local space before original and you need to do the exact same for the other bones after adding the constraint if you move it the spine is gonna try to match the shape of the butt and uh, this bone the counter rotation head it's gonna help like the counter head like the head and a copy rotation make sure it's at the local space and by the way the counter rotation head needs to be parented to the head so the head is trying to maintain the rotation for the target Okay, so right now the head and the other neck bones are trying to look at this target right here. Of course that if you do like extreme it's going to be deformed. You can also add a shape for uh, the middle, add a sphere shape, make it bigger and red. Also select the end, like the middle and select the start, make sure our part of line root, everything is gonna move. Nice. Also, or the Thing that we do are after still modify the rotation so all this can still adjust whatever you want the shape for the spider spine add a plane uh, let's scale it down add a loop cut with ctrl r bevel select this one control with the g double g let's move it and uh, select all the spine and the head bones Look how beautiful it looks with shape, colors, controls. Another thing, if you want um, uh, to animate the IK bones, it's very simple to do. Add a copy transform and select the hand R. And uh, let's test it with anim. Select only the selected objects, only the armature. This one should be fine. This one don't need it, uh, this one should be fine. We'll select only these deformed bones and don't select add leaf bones. Key all bones and the first start and end key. Import it, select the pose, select the mannequin. Use the default sample rate. Yeah, let's, uh, you can preview with the uh, money simple. You can also show all the bones. You can see that 
the key hand L, at, at the correct uh, position. We have controls for everything, IK for the pull, for the foot, have a look target, have a spline IK, you can animate, you can do absolutely everything with this rig, almost everything. We also wanted to show you how to add extra bones of, for the mannequin rig. So you're gonna start by isolating the um, the Unreal Rig and then what you can do, you can hide this bone you need to select the hand R bone you can duplicate it, uh, rename it for example Weapon R and you can part it to the hand R uh, and also, so the, the child constraint uh, needs to be the same for the um, for the rig so you also need a, a bone also in the rig so you do the same, you just uh, hide this bone and select the hand, uh, duplicate it uh, rename it weapon R. Uh, relation is going to be hand R. Okay, and uh, if you select the the weapon bone, you can parent it uh, child of constraint to the weapon bone with set inverse. So let's make in front so you can see it. This is the weapon bone. It is exactly the um, the same location and length of the hand bone. And if you move it, the weapon bone is going to follow it, the hand bone. But you can uh, still move it. For example, you can add um, a shape. So you can select the weapon bone, add uh, any shape you want. For example, a cube shape. And you can still move the bone around for the, for the example, a sword or a gun. And the weapon bone is going to still follow it. And if you move the hand, the weapon bone is going to follow it as well. So for example, let's say you have um, a gun. I'm going to import one of the gun that I've made. So this is one of the gun that I've made for my game. Also let me know if you want like a game day series with uh, tutorials and stuff in there. Uh, go to the um, object constraint and add a copy transform to the Unreal Armature and select the weapon R bone. Good. Uh, make sure to select the armature, the Unreal Armature and not the control rig. Because the control rig will have different orientation, and then when you export it, uh, the weapon gun is going to be like 90 degree offset. It, so make sure to select the real much okay. So if you want, for example, to make a pose, you can just uh, rotate the um, the gun, make it like it's in the hand. Okay, let's say um, it's called in the gun and if you want to animate you can just uh, select the hand bone move it around both hands and uh, move it around so another thing that i want to show you guys that i think is going to save you a lot of time is to create a general file like a default file for your rig with only the rig and the, um, the unreal rig so this true one and uh, make sure that everything is in one collection uh, and also the shapes and you can rename it default uh, to link to link armatures and what this will do is that let's say you have for example a, a file with all your reload animation so this is gonna be a brand file with all your action with all the your reload animation what you can do is instead of uh, appending or just uh, importing you're going to link it if you link it then you select the armature of that blender file just select uh, the default to link armatures that we rename it previously uh, right click and make uh, uh, library override make selected and content and just hide the shapes so the cool trick part is that we can't edit the armature you, you can't just edit but you can still animate it. You can move it around and uh, everything works as previously. Cool thing part is that if you go back to the, the custom rig and let's say for example, um, I don't know, you added an extra bone or you added an extra constraint. Let's say for example, I added an extra bone uh, and just duplicated it. And uh, this is the extra bone that I added. You can, for example, add a child of constraint, pelvis uh, control 01, also that, child of constraint, pelvis uh, control 01. So if you move it, the IK bones is going to move it as well, 
if we save it and go back to the reload animation, the rig is going to be upgraded. Every file that you make, if you modify one file, every file that have the link armature will be also modified. And this is a powerful thing that is going to save you a lot of time, especially if you have a lot of animation with different folders and you update a rig or make some changes, you want everything to update at the same time, use to link the armature instead of just appending the normal one. That's it, that's the end of the video guys. So if you like it, make sure to, to like right? because uh, I'm having uh, more video, for example, baking animation from Unreal or Mixamo di directly to the control rig so you can modify the animation however you want. So if you want to see more of that, subscribe, leave a like. Thank you guys for watching the video. Have a nice day and see you later.